welcome to my channel. Um, I finally decided to start a YouTube channel. Um, my main reason for starting is I wanted to docu document this new journey that I'm on. Um, so a little bit about me is I went to Georgia State University. I got a degree in biology and then I stayed and got a master's in biology right after. And I always thought that I was gonna go into um, medicine but after coronavirus this past year and a few other things um, in my life I decided to make that transition into tech um, so for the past year I've been teaching myself how to code but I've decided to go ahead and enroll at General Assembly the software engineering immersive boot camp which will be starting in about um, two weeks for me so um, I didn't take that decision lightly at the very beginning um, last year I was going to do it and I went through the process of uh, deciding to do an ISA which is an income share agreement for those of you that aren't aware um, I did the pre-work I did the coursework um, it took me three attempts but I eventually ended up passing the test because I was brand new to um, coding and I ended up passing the test on my third try and after my third try I felt like I spent the time teaching myself what I needed to learn to pass the assessment, but it wasn't exactly um, matching what was given to me. And later on, as I journey through tech, you'll see a reoccurring theme that I shortly learned after that, which was that in tech, anything related to tech is not just uh, cut and dry. And what I mean by that is, you know, in biology, the mitochondria is always going to be the powerhouse of the cell. It doesn't matter if you learn that in third grade, fifth grade, seventh grade. Those things don't really change. The only thing that really changes is theories. But with tech and the way that it's evolving and changing and new things are being developed, you can't just rely on what's given to you. Sometimes you have to go do your own research for yourself. And at the time that I took that pre-work test, um, I didn't understand that concept of having to actually do my own research, so I was struggling to pass the test. But um, between my second and third try, they made me wait two weeks to retake the test. So I spent time Googling the things I didn't understand, and also for the test, you can't, they don't show you what you got wrong, they don't show you what the right answer is, you just take it and it gives you a score. So there were a few things that I noticed I didn't really understand or know, so I spent my time using Codecademy and Free Code Camp, um, learning the topics in the two week time frame um, that I was given to before I could retake the test. So once I did that, then I kind of felt like empowered in the sense of like, oh, maybe I don't need a boot camp to, um, to start my journey. And and so I made the decision that I wasn't going to um, do the boot camp. Even though I, at this point I had passed the test, they were literally just waiting for me to pick a date to start the boot camp. Um, but yeah, so I decided that this, that this wasn't going to be for me and I was going to just teach myself. So that was around June of 2020. So between June and 2020, um, we're, we're currently at the end of February. Um, I spent some time learning, but I really got stuck on JavaScript. Um, I was learning JavaScript and React, but for whatever reason, those two just personally didn't stick. And you know, looking back, I feel like a lot of the front end libraries like Bootstrap and CSS and HTML, they're not terribly complicated where you can kind of learn and see what you're doing. But I feel like when it came to JavaScript, I understood the logic behind it and how it worked and functions and for and while loops, but I just, I, for whatever reason, I, I was not grasping the concept and slash am not grasping the concept of why this is important, what I would use it for. I mean, I understand what, you know, I've done some baby, some baby projects with it, but I just, it's just not clicking for me. And that's why I ultimately decided to leave the self-taught route and go the boot camp route. So this is me two weeks before class. Um, at the time, at this time, I bought um, the Angela U 2021 web development course on Udemy, which is apparently super popular. Um, and I've been working through that. I'm currently in the bootstrap section. So I'm hoping to fi finish 
or at least my first week of class in the General Assembly boot camp, I plan to do um, be on the last week of the Angela Yu boot camp. So I'm hope I'm hoping that I can at least touch everything once personally, see it for myself, work through it on my own before I'm I'm taught it in the boot camp. So it's more of the coding boot camp with General Assembly. So it's more of just like a refresher for me and uh, giving me a little bit more insight on what I do and don't know. Um, I, my goals and expectations. I've watched a few YouTube videos prior about like what you should do prior to boot camp. I do feel like I was kind of doing the things that were recommended, which is like, you know, do some coding for yourself, work on some projects for yourself. Um, I have a resume already built. But obviously, I'll be utilizing that. My plan and goal is to go into this boot camp with a um, fresher mind as if I don't really know it. Just so I don't miss anything or feel too proud. Um, I ultimately want to come out of this boot camp securing a job shortly after or during the boot camp. Which is why I'm already currently applying for jobs. And I feel like that's something that I'm capable of doing. I just have to do double the work. So... I've looked up some reviews about General Assembly Boot Camp and um, I've decided to go ahead and do it during quarantine versus waiting for COVID to be over. At, um, in June, when I was originally considering doing it, I had decided to try and wait out COVID and see if I um, could wait because I'm more, I function better like being in person. Um, the last part of my semester um, prior to um, everything shutting down, it was uh, moved to online and I didn't really like that I just didn't feel like I really strived in that I didn't I don't really feel like that was more for me so that was another reason why I ultimately didn't do the boot camp in June of last year um, but after teaching myself and kind of just accepting that we might be here for a while doing this I decided to just go ahead and do online I haven't I've seen a few reviews um, for the online portion, but not much. So it's been a little hard for me to gauge how my experience is going to go because um, most people that have done videos and reviews and things like that are, um, they're currently, they're people who were in the in-person. So there's a lot of things that I know I'll be missing from the in-person experience. For instance, like that classroom format, I will be doing the one that is I think 12 to 8 Eastern time, st Eastern Standard Time, which means I guess I'll be in class with people from other time zones and I don't know where my instructors will be based. So I don't know if they're actually based here in Atlanta, Georgia, or if they'll be based somewhere else considering the time frame. Um, now, what wasn't recommended, but I will be doing is I will be working in the morning. So I'll be working, I work from home currently. So I'll be working in the morning while this is um, going on up until 12. And then maybe a little bit before 12, I'll stop working and um, switch to the boot camp. Um, I've heard that the boot camp is tough. It's a lot. It takes a lot of your time. It takes a lot of your resources. But I'm willing to put in the work. I feel like I've kind of put it off for long enough. Um, and I think I'm in a completely different place and space than I was in um, when I was looking into this resource last year. So, um, yeah, I feel like at the end of the day, this is something I want to do. And I plan to take you all on the journey with me and for me to figure out if this is something I'm capable of doing and how I like it. I made the switch to tech and just a little bit I've been able to teach myself. I'm so in love with it. I wish I had discovered it earlier and I'm hoping that I still have those same sentiments after the boot camp. So with that being said, I'm hoping to take you all on the journey. I hope this will give some people some insight regarding General Assembly Atlanta based boot camp. And like I said, once I actually start the boot camp, I'll be able to give more details about is it based in Atlanta or where exactly is it based and um, um, where, what direction they're going in because of quarantine. Um, us being in quarantine and how it may differ from the reviews that I've already read online regarding the boot camp. So I hope to take you all on this journey and if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll try and I plan to upload regularly. So if it's questions that I think I can answer. I'll definitely be able to answer them. If not, I'll keep an eye out for them. And, you know, if you want to ask me personally about how my experience is going, this ends, starts in March and ends in May. So I think the weekend 
right before I think that Friday before Memorial Day weekend is the last day of class I'm hoping to secure a few opportunities or interviews by then I know it's kind of ambitious but I've always been an ambitious type of person and it's time for me to make that change um, so I'm willing to go full force I, like I said I'll be working in the morning I'll be taking the class from 12 to 8 and then I'm expected to do projects and homework and I'm going to be working out and just I, I spend most of my time at home by myself so I'm hoping I'll be able to balance it but like I said I do plan on keeping you guys on the journey with me so you all will be able to note if um, I feel like I'm struggling with that challenges anything tips and tricks as I'm going through this um, during the quarantine so please stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the rest of this content and this series and I look forward to keeping you guys updated have a great rest of your week, day, year, whatever time you're watching this, and stay tuned.